cool. Here we go. Yeah. Hey guys, it is day two. I totally didn't record day one. I was helping with a production setup. So if you didn't know, I am in a cleanse and that cleanse is 10 days long. Um, I know my weight, so I didn't weigh myself exactly before I started. Um, so I know, I don't, I don't think I've lost any weight since, but I'm just going to go off that weight because it was like pretty soon. Like it, it was taken shortly before the whole thing. Since yesterday's extremist workout and the day before I went hiking, today's going to be a rest day. And depending on how I feel, tomorrow will be a rest day as well, but we'll see. So I'm going to show you guys my morning routine. As you can see, this is my diary that I just... Kind of write out my affirmations and the advocate book that I kind of keep track with my health. Usually I'm the most productive in my day if I wake up at 7 a.m. Um, I usually go and do yoga. It kind of just wakes up my muscles and because I'm not a morning person it is pretty hard to wake up so that usually does the trick. What I didn't show you is that I also make my bed between yoga and breakfast. So while things are cooking, I usually go back and make my bed. I go ahead and I always cook my breakfast, of course. Um, and with that breakfast, I have a fiber shake that I did not show you. I'm so sorry. But as you can see, I cook spinach um, and olive oil in a pan, cook it down really well. Um, and then I put in the egg. So I put some toast in the toaster oven, um, put almond butter and flaxseed, I think, on top. Kind of help fill me up. And I add a date as my fruit. And usually that fills me up and I'm satisfied. I mean, if I don't wake up for anything else in the morning, it's for breakfast because I, you know, I like a light, healthy breakfast. After breakfast, I go and check my emails, write a to-do list and make sure that I have everything ready for the day, including times of if I'm meeting people or if I'm just sitting at home. So yeah, that's my morning routine and I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that sparked some inspiration. For today's lunch, we're having a chicken. Um, I put some salt and I think some pepper and I don't know what I don't know what else I put in there. And then I have red potatoes and Brussels sprouts. They have garlic powder, salt, and pepper because we do not have any garlic or garlic salt. So um, basically, what I did. I chopped up the potatoes and put them on the skillet with olive oil. And then I had a half an avocado and a date just to hold me over until this finishes. Okay, day four. And we're biking with some friends. Wave, you're going to be on my YouTube channel. We're biking today. We're biking. What up, though? Kind of new. We, we biking in the Rona season. In the Rona, yep. Rona out here trying to kill. I'm about to beat David with the switch. You so why? I know he's so He's abusive. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait for the next day. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for the next day. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for the next day. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for I didn't pass out, but I almost passed out. Um, and yeah, it was just so straining and I was asking my friends if we could stop. And thank God they were so patient and kind, but I'm just like, like can't breathe barely, like my heart rate's up all the time. And yeah, I, um, 
I'm just really out of shape. Um, more out of shape than I ever thought I would come back to. I told myself in 2015 that I would never get back to the girl I was. And not only am I the girl that I was, but heavier. Um, quarantine hasn't helped, but I can't blame much on quarantine. I blame myself. And it's made me feel very, very insecure. Um, like, I apologized eight times that we had to stop and all these things and I'm just ready to feel better I'm ready to have a workout and not come back and feel like dead you know um, I'm wanting to come back feel good and feel energized and so I know it'll take time but it sucks but we'll get through it So I realized today in my reflection this morning, I'm not fighting against my body. I'm fighting against my mind. And last night was brutal. It was hard. It was embarrassing. And I was really mad at myself for letting myself get this way. But it was experiences that have happened to me and experiences that I've brought on myself in life and I chose to not care about my health and flush that down the drain and I chose to continue giving in to other people's peer pressures and yeah so just reflecting on that this morning just remember this is a mind thing my mind is so powerful. Your mind is so powerful. And I keep seeing that in different movies. Um, yes, I was frustrated last night. That frustration is real. And in the end, those friends are like wanting to go out and bike with me again. I just thank God. They're just so patient, so kind. Like people want to see your success and... I'm willing to take that and run with it and use that as another tool to work out outside of the gym. It's the end of day five and wow. <laughs> I've been feeling very, uh, just not weak, but just um, shortness of breath a little bit in some areas. My legs are super sore. So, oh my God, like so sore. I can't even walk on them the normal way I would walk on my legs. I helped load out for a live concert with no people, if that makes sense. Um, and there's a lot of things that I couldn't do because I just didn't have the strength to do them. And I felt super embarrassed. Um, I felt like in adequate for the job um, it's a male dominated um, industry anyways and so I felt like that kind of like solidified what some people were thinking about um, women in production um, but I'm probably just overthinking it because I do that a lot <laughs> today was an easier day I made mashed potatoes for like the first time um, ever without help so that was fun um, and I made chicken and then had cauliflower rice, so super healthy and it was a, a quicker meal to make and I cannot believe I'm putting these meals together, I'm not gonna lie. I think I have noticed just a little bit of weight loss, um, but not much to really like, oh, like this is really happening. But it's okay, it's only day five, I have a million days to go and this is definitely a, not a lifestyle change. A lifestyle change and so I'm just excited to keep seeing where this will take me and I know that one day I'm gonna be strong enough to keep up with the guys and they won't have to take my place anymore all right so top of the morning on Sunday I go ahead and cook the regular egg whites with spinach so I put cauliflower rice in the skillet and let it saute right beside it and add um, avocado and 
nothing but the bagel seasoning. So that was super, super good. It's day six, technically day seven, because we are after midnight. But um, today I went out to eat for the first time since I started the whole thing. I learned some things though. Red meat is not as lean. And I was thinking I should stick to just like chicken fish and stuff but I didn't think about that till after I had the, the steak because I know steak is hard on my stomach anyways the sad thing about it is like I didn't want to get in fish um, and so that's my first its biggest challenge is trying to figure out how I don't get burned out on chicken and fish <laughs> I'm start my skin feels smoother from the omegas that I've been taking so that's cool. And I might see a slight change in my body weight, um, like see a slight change, but not much at all, which is totally fine. It's a long-term journey. My legs are still sore from the biking three days ago. So yeah, there's that. But other than that, I think everything's good. Yeah. It is the end of day seven. Today kind of flew, um, but it, didn't but it was a, such a good day i think the biggest thing that i shouldn't have done is that yesterday i did not drink a lot of water and so it caught up to me today and so even today just like trying to stay on my water a little bit better um than i did yesterday so i ate all of a burrito that i probably only should have ate half of i might just have to cut calories tomorrow a little bit more or work out a little bit more i don't know i was supposed to work out today so I'm gonna start smoothies this week, so that'll be fun and something new and something different. So, um, so far I'm good with clean eating. I'm okay with it. I'm not like dying for cake or something. So, but it's also just the end of week one of the rest of my life. Um, I don't think I ever told you guys my goals. Um, so, this is so hard to tell you this because I know that once I tell you guys this, it's something where uh, it's in cement and I'm going to have to come through on it and there's no excuses. So, but I need to do this for my, my health and uh, so hard. <laughs> um, so I want to lose a hundred pounds. Um, which will make me smaller than I was in like, small as I was in middle school. I know high school, I was above that, that amount of weight. So I just signed up for like a whole year or two, I guess, maybe two. Anyways, I told you guys this because I know that I need to do this for myself. It just, it's hard. And so... Anyways, thanks guys for hearing me and see you guys in the morning. Just listen.